So here we have the Toyota Yaris Hybrid on a 71 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's a lovely looking car the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, uh, we have the gauge that shows you whether the battery for the hybrid motor is charging, whether you're driving in eco mode or power mode. Uh, it also shows you that the vehicle is currently running, um, so you see the word ready just there. And in the centre at the top here, EV shows that we are running, but in electric vehicle mode. At the bottom of that section, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 22,614. We have the speedometer and fuel gauge over on the right hand side. If we back out to the stereo, we have our phone and stereo controls on the left hand side. We have cruise control, speed limiter, lane departure warning system and forward collision warning system all on the right hand side there. In the center, you'll find the main touch screen. Uh, so firstly, this is where you'll also find your uh, reversing camera, as you can see. Music wise, we've got uh, different ways you can listen to music, of course. Uh, so up here, uh, you can go through your various different channels with regards to uh, DAB radio. This car's got DAB, AM and FM, as you can see. We've also got the ability to listen to our music via USB input, stream it wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. Comparing your phone is easy. Hit the phone button and then follow the instructions on screen from there. Below that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute. So that's off, back on again. You can hit auto. The car will now take control of the temperature you've, uh, or it will maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. Any manual adjustment will override that straight away. We have a USB input, a 12 volt charging socket, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have an electric handbrake with auto hold function. And then over on the left hand side, you can force the vehicle into EV mode if there's enough charge. We have our traction control and you can change the driving mode of the car. So you're able to uh, change the gearbox essentially from sport to regular. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at MJA Car Sales. We'd love to hear from you soon.